our life was completely changed by Winx. You couldn't not think she was wonderful. You couldn't not think she was going to be a champion. I must admit I wouldn't in my wildest dreams have imagined that she would go on to do what she ultimately did. When she won the Epsom at Royal Randwick, she was turning for home, she almost fell. She didn't just pick herself up, she just came on and just won the race with ease. And Winx races up to hit the lead, she shot away in the Epsom. It was exciting and a bit of superstition always helped. 25 consecutive wins to equal the record of the Great Black Caviar. Winx just had gears that they didn't have. You know, I've never ridden another horse that would get close to Winx. She had that will to win, the will to compete, and the physicality to be able to do it. Winx dives! Yes! She got up! It did get to a stage where I simply knew she couldn't lose. I think we all did. She's won four Cox Plates, four Chipping Nordens, and now four George Riders. He's the world champion, Winx! Simply invincible! She makes it 32 in a row. Royal Randwick that day, I mean, record attendance, the flags, the sea of blue, the atmosphere. The emotion in my body was, it was like electricity and I just couldn't wait for it to be over. It was an intense week, there was a lot of media, a lot of eyes watching her. And Wings completes the lineup, the red light is on her. And the crowd are ready to send her off and the gates open. They're off in the Queen Elizabeth. She's well clear, Winks, inside the final 100 metres. Today we farewell an Australian icon, the greatest of all time. Winks wins her third, Queen Elizabeth. 33 in a row. And she's done it in emphatic style, as always. We've all seen the names, uh, whether it be the, the Bradman stand, so many great names and so much history behind those names. And I think it's fitting that Winx is that ambassador. It's the ultimate accolade because it's there forever.